Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of that celebrity interview. Rye. Welcome to the Valder Beebe Show as I broadcast live across the nation out of Dallas, Texas. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm having a wonderful life, and my audience is excited that yes. you are here to talk about Young, Gifted, and Broke, our student loan crisis. Yes, I am. I'm thrilled to be here to speak with you all and even more um, elated about the opportunity um, to, to share something that's so deeply personal to me, but I know is impacting more than 45 million other Americans and disproportionately impacting people in our community. It impacts you. It also impacts, obviously, my audience. We've, <clears throat> excuse me, we've got children who are saddled with this debt. We're trying to help them out of right. it, uh, support them. What's going on? Why, why is it so hard on, on children of color? Well, what's so interesting to me is I found a stat, and I actually just want to read it to you because I do not have it memorized. Um, we know that even when it comes to elders, the number of elders who are impacted by student debt, um, they, uh, the, the number of elders who have had their Social Security retirement checks garnished um, because of student loans grew by 540% since 2002. And I want to bring that up because so often we treat student debt as if it is just the problem of current students. But that can't be the case because many of them don't know their final debt bill yet, right? They're still in school. That's something that you're really not fully in touch with unless you are really good and financially, financially literate and your school is super responsible. Your financial aid office at school is really telling you about how much you owe. You don't really find out until you walk across that stage and that first bill comes. So um, I think it's really important to understand that this isn't just a problem for young students, it is also a problem for seniors. If you think this conversation is interesting, you gotta stay tuned because Angela will be talking about this on BET News, she's gonna do a town hall. And I never thought about the group that you're talking about, <clears throat> excuse me, which is my audience also. Yeah. Wow. And that's the thing. Um, you know, you, I'm sorry. I didn't hear you. I'm sorry. What do we do to address this student loan crisis? We say it's $1.5 trillion in excess or more, but is this what the town hall will address? help us address? We know the problem. Yeah. Here are the solutions. Yes. So what we talk about is that that number is now $1.6 trillion. Just yesterday, Congresswoman Maxine Waters held a hearing on student debt. Um, what, we're, what we have to do, honestly, before we can get to the solutions, are understand the depths of the problems. And so right now, in addition to our town hall that's airing on Sunday, 8 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Pacific, Young, Gifted, and Broke, we are also having a conversation online using that same hashtag, Young Gifted Broke, asking people to share their stories. They can be success stories as well, but we really want to understand the depth of the problem. How much do you owe? How long have you been saddled with that debt? What happened? Why did, how did you get there? What are you doing about it? And so what we have on the special are members of Congress who are talking about their public policy solutions. That includes Congressman Bobby Scott, who's the chair of the Ed and Labor Committee. Uh, we have Ilhan Omar, who's the newest member from Minnesota, and we have Johanna Hayes, who's the newest member from Connecticut, talking about bills they've introduced. Uh, Congressman Scott, ways in which he's overseeing and holding lenders accountable and ensuring that students have the relief they need as well as graduates. We also talk about, um, talk to Jessica Brown, who is someone who has worked really, really hard to help students understand the impact of student debt and things they can personally do to pay it down sooner, to not borrow you know, too much, because sometimes people borrow what they're eligible for instead of what they actually need. So we get into all of that on the special. All right, if you guys want to get more information about Young, Gifted, and Broke, it's September the 15th, from what I understand, on BET.com. Yes. Angela, before I let you go, I need you to uh, confirm or deny that CNN is putting together a panel of African-American hosts to bring the news directly to the public. True? Not true? 
So if it's true, we have not been told about that, but I know it made its way into page six. I would just always tell people to check their sources. Uh, page six didn't get that information from any of us, and I don't think they talked to anybody else at CNN. But um, this special, Young, Gifted, and Broke, airs this Sunday. It's not on BT.com. It'll, it'll be on the network, um, but we will be continuing that conversation on BT.com as well as on all social media platforms using the hashtag Young, Gifted, Broke. Thank you so much for this information. We will be Thank tuned you. in because, as I say, it affects all of us. Thank you, Angela Rye. It really does. Thank you, Val. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.